Hello everyone. Today we are looking at my Stingray inside of Unreal Engine. Um, if we just go like this, we can rotate around it, look at its detail here. We have one that's flipped over here so we can look at the underside also. And we're in the animation map. If I play this, we can see all the different animations for the Stingray. Death, attacking animation, swimming animation. And we can get out of this view and look at the folders we have an animation folder we'll look at that in a minute a blueprint folder the stingray comes with an ai system all of my animals do um, then we have the maps which one is the animation map and then we have an ai map we'll look at in a minute one material one pbr material for the stingray Here's the meshes. We've already looked, looked at the mesh. We can look at the physics asset here. And simulate this. Maybe back off a little. And that's the physics for the stingray. And a skeleton textures four textures a base color a metalness it has a little bit of metal metalness in it and a normal map and roughness map i think they're all uh, 2k textures and we'll jump into the animations now now it comes with a blend space that has uh has it swimming and then idling and then turning just like that and now the, look at the animations we'll zoom in a bit so there's the attack animation the dead animation dying idle idle 2 idle 3 idle 4 sleeping swimming swim down swim left Swim right and swim up. Now we can look at the simple AI system that I have for this. It basically makes the um, stingray so it can be drag and dropped into any scene and it'll just work. Uh, and you can set up a few different parameters. So here we're in the AI scene. We'll just start the scene, and there we go. The stingrays will just swim around or make different decisions. Sometimes they'll swim, sometimes they'll come to the surface, sometimes they'll just rest at the bottom. There goes one. He'll go to a new point. So it has a couple different systems that it's working along. It does use the navigation system with the nav mesh and everything. So this one just moving here is using the nav mesh to move around. Whereas those two are riding along the spline. And you can interact with them. So if I come up close, he'll try to sting me. Oops, I just killed them. You can also bump into them and kill them. So that one is going up to the surface. Let's see if he can see me up here. Why not? I might have sight turned off. 
Let's see if this one will see me. No. Maybe I have it turned off. All right, but we can look at the blueprints. So we have an animation blueprint for it. And this contains all the different uh, animation states and their transitions into each other. So we have transitions that they transition into. It has some variables and an enum. This comes, the ray actions, comes directly from the enum. So we have an enum that just kind of labels uh, a set of um, animation states. So that's the animation blueprint. You could use this to um, create your own AI for the, um, for the Stingray. And then we have a blueprint which contains all of the AI or uh, the logic for the Stingray. And what else? Um, character controller and all that. On the right-hand side, we see a bunch of variable options that you could change for the Stingray. How long it stays dead, how uh, the surface time, how long it stays at the surface, how, how long it eats for. Um, and then there's a bunch of um, booleans that you can turn all on and off. Like, you could turn sight off. Death, you could turn off. Ground, you can make it not go to the ground. Um, surface off, so it never comes to the surface of the water. And then you could check only swimming, and then it would only swim. Only swim along the spline, that is. Inside of this blueprint, we have uh, the um, Stingray makes a bunch of decisions. Um, then it'll, if it decides to roam, then this is how this happens. If it takes damage along the way, this is what, how it takes ja damage. Uh, it detects, detection is sight. So if it sees something, then it'll um, do an action. Uh, hit check, checking if your collision box gets hit by anything. And then we have a revive function. On the right-hand side, we have the surface idle. When it comes up to the surface, what it does. Uh, take off, when it takes off from wherever it is into the spline that it swims around. And then we have swimming, which is swimming along the spline. Landing would be going back to your ground point. And then while it's on the ground, how it transitions to that. And then we have the water surface. When it comes up to the surface, what, how it gets there and what, it, what happens when it gets there. And then the, when it gets to the surface, it does this, of course. So this is the basic AI. You can use it. You can edit it. You can uh, use it in your prototyping or whatever. But it basically makes it so that the Stingray is drag and drop. Now the last option we have here is the Enum that just has all of the different animation states. So you can switch between them. And then the uh, AI, uh, Stingray AI is, is just kind of a, place, a placeholder reference. Um, the Stingray NPC is what you want to drag into your scene because that contains all the different parts. The um, uh, spline path, the landing point, the um, branch or the upper part. What do I call this? The water surface point. And if we open up the NPC uh, blueprint, we can look at the view and we can see the spline and all the different options in here. And we can move, we could change this and move it around so that all of our Stingray have a better setup, better suited for your environment or whatever. So that's a look at the AI system. I think that's about it for the video. Uh, that's a look at my Stingray in Unreal Engine. Have a good one, everyone.